Hey guys, I'm Lena Michalik. I'm Kay Michalik. And today we're going to be out here showing you the different shooting positions for rifle. When you're at a three gun match, you don't know what you're going to come across. So today we're going to go off a of prone, shooting off tables, shooting off barricades, really whatever we can find. Really one of the fun aspects of three gun is like Lena said, you never know what you're going to run into. But for those distance shots with the rifle, it's almost always better to take the time to find a good steady position. And that's what we're going to show you today. Hopefully we'll show you some different positions that you can get in quickly. Take that extra time to get a good steady position so you can make those good accurate shots from a distance. Probably one of the most stable positions you can possibly have is the prone position. So Lena's going to show you how she goes prone and exactly some pointers on going prone. So before you go into this position, you want to be aware of where everything is on your belt. So as you see here, I've lost some open slots. And I have this magazine right here, which is great for if I want to reload my handgun, but for going prone, it's going to be a pain. So I would take the time and move it over before I start the stage. So you just need to be aware of these kind of things. So when you're going prone, you want to just practice this. It's going to be different for everyone. When I go, I like to hit my knees and then catch myself with my hand and then you can go down to prone. Okay, so Lena is now in her prone position. A few things I want to point out. Number one, you can see that her 30 round magazine she is basically using as a monopod. Uh, so be sure you put a 30 round magazine in your gun and try this. Uh, there's also some 45 round magazines and of course some 20 round magazines uh, depending on your height and your arm length. Uh, this may not be comfortable for you, but usually the 30 round magazine is a pretty good, works as a pretty good monitor. She has three points of contact with the ground. Both elbows and that and the magazine using it as, as that monopod. Uh, so that, that's why this uh, position is so steady. It's almost like shooting off a bench. So the prone position I'm in right now is perfect if your targets are directly in front of you. What I'm going to show you next is how you engage targets that are in a wide array. So I'm about to show you how to engage targets in a wide array. So say I have a target on the far right, the center, and the left. What I'm going to do is find a place right in between the far right and the center target to set up. I personally like to pull my gun from right to left instead of push it from left to right. I find that easier. So if we're going to go down, I would come in at an angle, set in right between my target, here. But since I have a target on the far right, I would start here, which is not the most comfortable, but it allows me to shoot the far right and the center before I have to move my body to get to the left target. One thing we failed to mention is that when you go prone and sometimes kneeling, it's a good idea to have elbow and knee pads or at least long sleeves on to protect the elbows and knees. Another thing I didn't mention was when you're dry firing at home, you definitely want to put your muffs on then. Um, for me, I have to push this muff up as far as I can, otherwise it breaks the seal. So I definitely suggest doing that before and also wearing plugs. Next position I'm going to show you is shooting off the right side of a wall. As you can tell, this is a very wobbly prop, so you want to be aware of that as you're going through a stage. You also want to be aware of how good you are offhand shooting. So if I came across a prop like this, I probably wouldn't use it depending on the distance of the targets. So for this prop, I would push my hand up against it and leave it with my thumb out as a hook, and then all you have to do is lay your rifle in it, and you're good to go. You also want to be aware of when you're doing your walkthrough, how hard do you want to push? Some props, if you push harder, they'll become more stable. If you want to try and go the offhand route, but you don't want to go all the way offhand, you can just rest the back of your hand on the side of the prop for a little bit more stability. So the only difference on shooting on the left side of the wall is instead of pushing our fingers and our palm against it, we're going to push our thumb and our palm against it. And also I would grab the wall if you have the option, I can here, and I would hook my pointer finger around it and rest it there. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of positions off of this, uh, basically a table type uh, prop here. Two things jump out at me at this one. First is the reverse kneeling. Uh, the reverse kneeling is when my strong side knee, in my case my right side knee, 
uh, is in the up position and I'm kneeling on my left knee. And what that allows me to do, if the table is the right height or the prop is the right height, is to rest my elbow, rest my right elbow on my right knee. Now this gives me a very steady position and of course on, in this particular instance I would lay the gun on the table. Uh, I still have from my elbow up on my left arm is on the table so that I can grasp the, still grasp the handguard. And this is a very good steady position and also it's uh, fairly fluid when I have to move from target to target. The other position that uh, lends itself to this for me at my height, I'm fairly short, is basically just a very wide stance that keeps me low and I do the same thing we, that we do in prone. I use the magazine as a monopod. I'm able to get both of my elbows, or very much, or just about both of my elbows, maybe a little back on one arm, but I'm getting again a three-point position, three points of contact, both elbows and the magazine. And that, for me, that's almost like shooting off a bench rest. So what I'm going to show you here is offhand. This is what you're going to use the most in any kind of shooting competition that involves a rifle. So first, it is very important is your stance with your feet. I have a probably an unusual stance. I have both my feet fairly close together. I have this toe, my left foot always pointing towards the target, my right foot on the back. I have the majority of my weight on my front toe. And that's pretty much the stance. Always have your knees bent. So for the upper body, what I see the most when I'm teaching people is that they want to hang the gun. And what that means is instead of standing up and using your bone structure to support the gun, you lean over. You hang, you're hanging the gun. So what that does is it requires a lot more muscle. So it wears out quickly and it's more shaky. So if you could just stand up more straight and use your bone structure to hold the gun, it makes for a much steadier offhand position. Another thing you want to play with, this is totally different to your arm length and your gun and just what you prefer, is where you're going to put your hand. I've discovered recently that I like my hand to be almost on top of the gun, as pretty much as far up as I can get it. I don't really know why, but it just works. So that, and you want to play with your face position on your gun. And really, if you do all this at home, the best thing you can do is dry fire. And once you do this at home and dry fire, you'll have a really good all pan stance. We've just shown you some of the basic shooting positions that you'll most likely encounter on a three-gun match. And if you want to see more training videos, match reports, and product reviews, go to Michelik.com. And remember, you can get all your guns and gear at Cheaper Than Dirt.